Moment in Christ, our everyday encounter with the Word of God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer inspired by Psalm 7, verses 1 to 2 and 9 to 10, to ask for God's intervention. Let's start this powerful prayer with an Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive to those who have offended us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Prayer to ask for God's intervention. Lord, you are my God. I need you to step in and save me from my enemies. Release me from them all, please. Father, in the midst of my enemies, I take refuge in you alone and trust in your great power. I know that you are the only one who can save me from all threats and dangers. You are far more powerful than any of my opponents. Don't let them hurt me, please. Intervene on my behalf, my God. Thank you, because you are my God. You know the deepest thoughts and intentions of each person's heart. I ask you to examine us and act on what you see in our being. I trust in your justice. You are my shield, Lord. Thank you for wrapping me in your mighty arms. Help me to keep a straight heart in the midst of this whole situation. I desire always to please you and to do your will at all times. In Jesus' name, Amen. Basic Biblical Text Save me, Lord my God because in you I seek refuge. Deliver me from all my pursuers. Otherwise, they will devour me like lions. They will tear me apart and there will be no one to set me free. Psalm 7 Just God, who examines the mind and the heart, destroys the wickedness of the wicked, and holds fast the righteous. My shield is in God who saves the upright in heart. Psalm 7-1 Brief Explanation of the Text In this psalm, David asks to be justified by his enemies. The introduction to the psalm speaks of Cush the Benjamite. Nobody knows for sure who he was or what his problem with David was. The truth is that David felt oppressed and went to the Lord to ask for his help, to free him from the oppression he received from that person. David knew who to turn to in the midst of his problems. His trust was placed in God and he approached his Heavenly Father in any situation, to ask for his help and intervention. David knew that he could share everything with God, that he didn't need to carry his burdens just because he served the Almighty God who loves his own and takes pleasure in helping them. Words of the Holy Father the two in the gospel trust Jesus and follow him in search of light for his eyes. And why, brothers and sisters, do these two people trust Jesus? Because they perceive that he, in the darkness of history, is the light that illuminates the nights of the heart and of the world, defeats darkness and overcomes all blindness. As we know, we too have blindness in our hearts. We too, like the two blind men, are walkers often immersed in the darkness of life. The first thing to do is go to Jesus, as he himself asks us, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest, Matthew 11 verse 28. Prayer of the Day Dear Saint Anthony, be an excellent preacher and servant of the Lord. He teaches me to also be a faithful servant and devoted to God's plans for my life. I also want to be able to live by combining mind and heart, study and prayer. Amen. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like, share this video with 7 friends to help the channel take the word of God to more people. Thanks.